Hi hey everyone, I call myself the Pepsi Kid. Um, I'm just uh, here to give you some information today about how this works and kind of how the process started. Okay, so first you have to go to your primary care physician. And then what he's going to do is he's going to order some blood tests to make sure that you have an active enough viral load that the medicine will be effective. You see, um, hep C, hepatitis C, sits dormant for up to 25 years. Um, most people, it's 15 to 20 years. Um, me, it got on dormant within five years. I mean, it's just my luck, okay? I mean, it's just crazy. Um, but you know what? I just keep a smile on my face and I keep going every day, you know? Uh, I'm getting my life back. This treatment is just amazing. Um, I have to say it is rough. Uh, if you have stomach problems, diarrhea problems, you're going to have to watch your diet. Um, they said to have really thick smoothies, put fibers in it, um, you know, kale, um, you know, make sure you eat vegetables, you know, things like that. Um, I've also been doing other things such as like ginger. I put ginger in my smoothies. Um, I put it in my teas, things like that. It helps settle in my stomach. Um, I've also been on um, clonzepam. Um that helps a lot too. It helps to keep it down. I wish I had some for in the morning too, but I just don't. Um, you know, so I just make by with what I do. Now, um, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about the process. So, uh, what happens is you go and you see your doctor, okay? And the doctor will, um, like I said, order the blood test. You'll get the blood test back. Uh, they will find out what genotype you are. There are different genotypes, and I will do a video going over the different genotypes. I am type 1A, okay? And they pick the medicine Zepatia for me. Now, I wasn't quite sure why they picked that for me because the side effects of it were nausea and vomiting. And I'm like, uh, hello, I'm on disability because I have PTSD, anxiety, nausea, and vomiting, and all the side effects cause that. But they said it was the best one for me, and it, and to be honest, I've been able to tough it out all right, you know. So, um, anyway, so you have to go to the classes, okay? This medication, okay, is $10,000, okay, every time you pick it up. I rounded it out, it comes out to about 718 or $720 per medication. So, it is important that you take it with a diet, something you can hold it down when you go to bed because you do not want to be throwing up this medication. And, you know, when you miss days, you can actually prolong your treatment and then cause yourself to have to double up and take two types of medicines, which is even harder on you uh, because it becomes resistant to it. So you want to make sure that you attend those classes. They will not even approve you, okay? Some of the people that were in my classes still haven't even been approved for the medication yet. I'm already on week four. I got approved within three days. Um, that's not likely. Usually it takes a little longer. Um, but I encourage you guys to get on your doctor right away. The treatments are there. They're affordable. They're f basically free. You know, they have help. They've got classes. They can get you through it. Um, so share your story with me, share how hep C has affected your life and how it's affected, you know, the people around you. Go ahead and click subscribe, ask any questions if you want. Um, I don't know, I'll probably start doing quizzes for the day. I'm going to start giving you more information. I'm going to talk about Zepatia, the medication, and how it works, and, and, you know, how hepatitis attacks the body, and other things like that. So look for some more updates tonight. I look forward to talking to you later. I'm going to be dosing in a little bit here. It's starting to get late. All right, you guys have a good night, and I look forward to talking to you in a little bit.